This is a short video to look at a comparison between a cartridge and a powder box. Here you can see a powder box I've made. I haven't drilled it yet or finished it, you know, in terms of, you know, dipping it in oil. Well, this is one of the most recent powder boxes that I've made. I make them to the exact specification of those in the tower collection. In other words, they've been hollowed inside rather than just bored part the way down or even all the way down. They've actually been turned and not bored as was the instruction in the period. On here, you can see, well, it's just a piece of cardboard, sellotape together, and it's over a piece of dowel, so you can see the size, because that fits quite snugly on there. And you can see, if you look closely at that, exactly what the diameter of that dowel is. So we're looking at a 16 millimeter. It's this part here that we're looking at here. You can see that little mark on there, see the line that it's against, and you can see that it should be on 16 millimeter there. So I'll just take that away. Now, uh, I think I'm looking at 16 millimeter. Yeah, just checking myself. That is 16 millimeters. So we've got a 16 millimeter internal dimension um, cartridge. Let's call it. Now, looking at the length of this, I wasn't sure what length to make it, so I sort of guessed at quite a long one, really. Um, almost four and a half inches. Certainly over four and a quarter inches. You could see it's approaching the four and a half inch mark. Basically, I wanted something that's over four inches. Call it four and a quarter if you like. So there's a little end on it there so my stuff doesn't fall through the end. I can pull it off there, it's quite tight fitting so it is actually that dimension, that internal dimension pretty well. Now if I start to pour from here into here you'll be able to see what the equivalent is from a cartridge to one of the powder boxes that's been hollowed and you'll need to know what size equivalent cartridge you would need if you were using an equivalent charge to what was specified in the period. So, let's start pouring. Yes, convenient, isn't it? The 16mm happens to be the same diameter as the outside of the spout from the uh, powder box. Now then, let's see if that's all gone in there. Yeah, okay. Now, you can see that's full. If I tap that a little, I think you can see that that there is full already. The powder box is not yet empty. So, if I tip that away and then put some more in, it will give you an idea of what size cartridge you're going to require in order to create a cartridge that's the size or will hold the equivalent now if you can I don't know if you can see in there but that's going roughly halfway down I can tell you sort of exactly how far that's going down really by pushing this into there until it touches there you go it's touching now and it's gone to that length so if I just measure that with my um, I know it's only a rough measure measure that against here and you can see that it's gone in around whoops let's take it that way around it's gone in about two inches. So in other words, two inches down from the top is empty of, of uh, salt that I'm using. So we've got, what is it, two and a quarter? It? It's slightly more than two and a quarter still left in there. In other words, it's this times one and a half. This is around about four and a half inches. You're looking at about six, seven inches, presumably, that, you, that you'll be requiring of a six mil diameter um, cartridge in order to have the same amount of powder that you can contain in a box. Now, if you look in the box, you'll see that um, I have hollowed it as to the specification of the period, turned and not bored. So, the distance between there and there is about five millimetres. You can see that on my great big long stick here. It's about, well, this is doing it in, in, in there we go, there, there, right. So, you see the wire is about, if I do it on that one, it's probably easier, five millimetres apart. So, if I push that into my powder box, you can see... There you go, as it pushes in, big gap, big gap, big gap, big gap, big gap. Now, now, if there was nothing between those two wires, you'd see five millimetres. The distance between there, it's hard for me to show you on here, that's about three millimetres. In other words, that wall there is around about two millimetres thick. So there's actually quite, bearing in mind this is 32 millimetres on the outside, there's actually a big hollow space inside there that needs to be taken up somehow 
in the cartridge that you're going to be using. So it's just an idea of the size of cartridge you would require to fire the equivalent charge that you would with a bandolier box.